Welcome back guys. It's time for another episode of my low cost Super 7. Episode number 14. Finally. Uh, in this episode we will concentrate on the small things that I need to fix. Things that I have left unattended. Uh, and the first one is that I need to get the steering at least working. With that said, the axle I'm doing now is not approved. I'm uh, starting with uh, getting the middle done and you can see me doing a D-shaped configuration here. And now I'm making the groove for the screw itself. I need to, and I have already ordered parts because I'm not allowed to do some of the welding that I did in the axle like I did it. And the material also need to be approved if you're going to weld anything. Now I'm attaching this small thing here. This is the D end that will be attached. And doing that I do uh, spot wells, uh, through wells, hole wells. Uh, and I'm drilling four holes. And this is basically how you do it when you're doing it for the approved way as well. Uh, it's just that I don't have any um, splines that goes to D the D-contact yet, and I'm waiting for that one. And so my new axle will actually be made uh, in, in a lathe directly. And here I'm testing it out and it worked out. The bearing itself are big, they're huge actually, but that's what was uh, what I could get quickly and easily. Uh, this is a 20 millimeter ones. And I start with uh, making the brackets for them. And of course a lot of angle grinding. I have still not bought any, any tool to cut the steel with, uh, except for my angle grinder. Marking out where I should drill the holes. And starting with a smaller drill first. Those um, ones will be mounted with uh, M12, so those are fairly oversized, but I had those laying around. And some cleaning afterwards. I'm splitting the pieces in half again because I did weld them together. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier to do multiple pieces uh, or brackets at once. And here you can see me mounting them and that's because I'm going to weld the brackets onto the chassis later on. Here I'm cutting the actual axle itself because it was a bit too long. Spot welding the actual bearings to the frame with the axle attached to it. Another bracket that will hold it all together. This one will sit in an angle, so I cut up. There is a lot of triangulation in this car. I spot welding most of the things with a MIG welder. I'm only MIG welding the ones that are 90 degrees and different stuff like that because I don't want any weld to stick out and therefore I use TIG weld for that. It takes longer time but I think it looks nicer to have TIG welded stuff. Testing the steering and the play that you can hear is actually me not having tightened it together. Uh, and I'm making sure that I have no play that can be felt and that everything is very very even and it actually is so i think this will work out great the gear shift mount i'm not happy with the current one because as you can see i need to screw it in and out in a very strange angle so i am remove the old one
and removing all the angles and the brackets as well and cleaning everything up for the new thing. Cutting everything away. Unfortunately, I lost some footage here because I didn't see that the camera died on me. But I will show you how it looks in the end. So if we take a look at the car, you will see the new bracket is actually mounted with two screws, screws from the top instead. And the nuts itself are welded, welded on the underside. I'm not sure I'm going to use this setup. I'm thinking of actually buying or building a new one. We'll see about that. It might be the third version. This is the second version already. More brackets, in this case for the steering assembly, because currently it's just hanging basically in the air. I still need to go through so the steering is actually 100% accurate and correctly set up. But I need some tools for that, like the laser and stuff. I'm making sure that it sits tight onto the actual bracket that is hanging there, and just welding this in place. There will be a lot more regarding this setup in the future, but I need to have the coolers here first, because they will sit in front or behind this one actually. Testing it, and it's a lot stiffer now. Before this actually I can move it back and forth in sideways, and this makes it possible for me to test out. A lot of cleaning everywhere, you know, TIG welding is not the easiest thing, especially when you have gear or have um, steel that have been standing still for many years. Rust and particles are on them and it makes it horrible to TIG weld some parts. Therefore a lot of cleaning before I start, and even though that, I could not weld everything with a TIG. I actually had to do some parts with the MIG weld anyways. But for instance this one worked just fine. Even more parts that will make the car better. In this case I'm boxing up everything that relates to the frame in the front, to the steering and everything. Uh, you need to have boxing on them and I'm going to add a boxing part on the top of everything here. Potentially I need to add something on the underside as well, but I'm not sure yet. Making sure it actually sits correctly. And more cleaning before I start the TIG welding process. Here you can see me do even more boxing. And it's rather thin metal when I do this boxing, but it's I think it is thick enough, it's two millimeter. So we'll see about that. Mounting the A pillars back. And now I'm actually also attaching the brake calipers as well. And this is just to make sure that I have everything in place. So Brake caliper is from the Volvo 240, it's four pistons. Thank you for watching. Um, let's talk a little bit about what we have done so far in this video. 
It was a long time ago since I worked with this car and therefore I had to start over on some of the elements. Some of the elements that you have seen today is actually the things that I have done before. First of all, I did redo the seating once more. So that right seat, the driver's seat is actually remade, the, the positioning and the, 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 the guides itself. And I'm a lot happier now. What I also have done is welded everything up in the front here. So all the joints going around the steering is actually now welded into place. Um, Every one that I can reach without turning it over uh, because some of the joints are easier to weld upside down. But I will do them later on. Uh, I added the calipers as well. And I did uh, add all the shims that should be inside here in one way or another. It's not shimmed up for the future, but I have everything there, except lock nuts. That's the thing that is missing now, but I will not add those until it is finalized. Um, I did do a mock-up of the steering as well. As you saw, I added one of the middle shafts here. This one is not approved. It doesn't matter what I do with it, um, because I am not allowed to weld onto this one here. And I will order new stuff for this one. But it do work and I'm pretty happy with it. It do turn as it should. It's a, a little bit of a disadvantage to have four joints like that. But on the other hand it is approved so as long as it works it will work. And it gives me a little bit more clearing to the turbo. Uh, so I will do that for now and I know a lot of people have done it as well. I also re-welded the um, gear stick itself, the holder for the gear stick, because I was not happy with that either. And I did some minor work in front here that I wasn't happy with. So this is basically the startup. All the things I have done is I have ordered a bunch of stuff. Uh, new battery, material to the tank, material to the bottom, uh, material to the brakes in terms of um, hoses and stuff like that. Um, I ordered some parts for exhaust as well, uh, that's not 100% clear, I need some more money to do that because it do cost a lot to build this machine. All the gears, since I don't, I, I'm not only using second hand things, I'm actually using new things as well. Uh, and that's because I do want it to be a pretty good machine, uh, so to say. Uh, I did mount a little bit of things on the engine to make that go better, uh, some of the nuts and everything to the the, the parts that hold the engine in place are in place as well. Just so I know that I have everything that's needed. Uh, in the next video, depending a little bit on what will come first, uh, either we start with uh, the cooling part, the intercooler, the water cooler and the oil cooler. Uh, I, do, I am waiting for the uh, water cooler itself. Uh, I did order one. That one is on its go, or we will actually take a look at the work with the brakes, or we will do something else. We'll see a little bit about that. Um, I will spend a lot more time in the coming weeks on this machine because we need to get somewhere, so it's actually time to bring this up. And it has been a blast to work those two last days with this machine. Uh, and I think I have come rather far actually, uh, though everything takes time when you want to TIG weld and when you want to do it properly. It's a lot of investigation ongoing. So guys, if you watch this video, make sure you are subscribed. Because if you aren't subscribed, you don't get a notification when you have a new video up. So subscribe, press the bell notification button, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye.